Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. So it is still um, Saturday and I'll be going to bed pretty soon. But I wanted to do um, one more video. Now um, I will say that I do have one more video that I'm going to be um, uploading tonight. Um, but it's on my phone and it is what my books look like now in the new bookshelf. I used up um, a pretty large amount of space in these bookshelves as you're going to see in the video. Um, what that just means is that I'm going to just purchase one more bookshelf and once that is filled up with books I will not be buying any more physical copies. I'll just be sticking to the digital editions and all that. <clears throat> all right so that's my plan for it and basically what that actually does is it keeps me from literally having an out of control collection because I can put I can have my collection on Kindle and all that jazz but <clears throat> enough with that <clears throat> so we're doing a review of Goosebumps Let's Get Invisible I believe this is book number I don't know I'll have to check I'll have to check it <clears throat> when I go to upload the video I'm going to go and check to see what number this is but let's get invisible. I bought this. I think I bought this back in December. I'm not exactly sure. Um, the further away I get from when I purchase something, I totally forget when I purchased it. So this book um, is all about a kid called um, uh, Max, and he's got a, he's got a brother called Lefty because. He throws with his left hand and they find this room that has this mirror that's got a light bulb with a cord and they think and when they discover that this mirror can make them become invisible they start like trying to outdo each other and not really understanding or caring about why this mirror was locked up. And uh, it becomes a kind of like an addiction for them because it's like they just have to, you know, do, you know, push through the limit. How far can I go? And this is typical for kids. I mean, this book didn't exactly depict children as being the most responsible group of people in the universe. Um, this one had uh, 25 chapters. And I must say something. <laughs> um going back to when I run out of room on my thing I'm going to buy and would just have digital editions I definitely want to have <coughs> physical copies of all the Goosebump books but this one in particular was a riot and um, <coughs> and uh, it was just it was just a lot of fun I mean I enjoyed it a lot I really didn't catch any kind of changes to <coughs> to the story i just found it really entertaining and all that and uh yeah it's uh it was a good book so i'm going to give this book um five stars uh everyone <clears throat> parents act like that they don't have a clue and kids act like they have no common sense and yes it it, it was like a drug it was like a drug to them they were addicted to the idea of being invisible and pulling pranks and people not be able to see that it's them and everything. But at the end, it turned out all right, at least for most of them. The ending was a little like, oh my lord, we're never going to see the real person ever again. <clears throat> but yeah, so sorry about that. I, I had a pizza and soda and my throat's like, I hate you, I hate you so much. So yeah. So um, I'm in it there, and I will see you guys around. I am going to start on. <clears throat> I am going to start on the next Goosebumps book. I just have to go and see which one that is. So I will see you guys around. 